Be as wishy-washy as you want. Doesn't change my job. Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and my job is boss time! Let's play Bravely Second End Lair! I'm here to cut you down and settle the score once and for all. Let's finish this. My blood cries out for the vengeance of my people's blood, which can only be repaid with at least twice as much blood, or maybe three times as much blood, like if you went to hell, and it was full of blood, and that blood was on fire, and it was raining blood, and maybe that would be enough blood, uh, but probably not. Okay, so with Idea here, let's see, I gave her katanas, so she can use Autumn Brocade on Jan there, although not so much for that. But uh, I gave her katana lore, not just for the boost in physical attack, but because of the way wanton destruction works with its damage calculation. It also uses the proficiency of the weapon in your right hand there, not just the attack power resulting from that. It's, it's more than that. And that will allow wanton destruction to deal much more damage than even two tramples could do at this point in the game. And then, yeah, just another trample there to fill it out. Now with you and Magnolia, I want them to use Holy Weapon, Double Lightning, and the Rain Spellcraft because that'll deal the most damage possible of all of our Spellcraft to a single target there. Since there's only one, all four hits are going to go to him. And it's totally worth the MP cost. With Tiz, I could have him use Godspeed Strike and maybe even Mimic, which I I would probably do during uh, like a random battle or something. But here, I have other plans for him. Uh, and I'll just let everyone else take care of the damage. Let's have Tiz examine the guy. Let's see, inflict lightning weak with cursed arrow. And then, yeah, I want a mug from him because he's got a pretty good item to pick up. And let's see, I could use Pantheon's Wrath, but that costs a lot. So why don't we just use uh, Zeus's Wrath for a little extra damage there, and that ought to be good enough. I'm not pulling any punches. Well, you're pulling that bow pretty good. So you don't really deal any damage. Kind of strange, but... Well, we weakened the guy. Alright, there we go. So we got scimitars from him, which is basically the next upgrade for one-handed swords. And that'll be pretty useful in the next dungeon. Depending on the situations. Yeah, look at that damage. Well, those four hits went through pretty quickly, but uh, that was like almost 12,000 damage there with that. But at least you get to show off the the special move there that I'll, I probably won't use again. Well, I might use it. We'll see. But usually I use different things during boss fights. Aw, oh, come on! I almost got up to level 8 with Tiz there. Well... I'm going to finish off that level, even though I don't care about the ability. <sighs> but I, I just want to finish it off. Finally. Huh? Finally got you to fight for real. Are you? Well, you're still breathing. But that still won't cut it. <clears throat> well, literally. Dude? Jan! Whoa! He might be... Uh... I'll fall from this height. Well, he might be okay. <laughs> That's. Let's go, everyone. We have our own job to do. We'll never see him again. The Kaiser must be stopped. Onward to Florum. I thought, like, this wasn't, like, like really high up. I thought, like, the bottom of the room was, like, well, like, slightly below the bottom of the screen. Not, like, a huge chasm or something. But, okay. Well, let's see if Agnes knows anything about how to get the floor. Oh. Okay, uh... I guess she's still laying down then after, uh... Yeah, feeling a little woozy there. But, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, and also in this part... Yeah, we can't teleport out. We need to get back to the... The guy's grotto in order to be able to teleport out of here. Then we'll be good. 
Maybe Agnes is taking a little bit of a coffee break. Try and perk up a little bit there. I don't know. But, uh, okay. All right, everyone. Let's make for Florum. So, how are we going to get there? Right. We have to get to the Temple of Water before the Kaiser can get his hands on the crystal. Well, I don't think he has, like, a place where he could dock or share a berth or something. But how? Master's leaky old dinghy's taking us about as far as it can go. Well, yeah, that is true. There are no shallow waters that we can take to get really close to Florum, other than that one northeast part, but we can't go through the mountains there like that. We'll have to cross open seas to reach Flora. Maybe we can ask about a more reliable vessel in Unohana. Oh, okay. Great idea, sir. It sits right on the ocean. Surely they'd have ships to charter. Oh, I thought they were, like, right next to the ocean, not on top of it, but okay. Oh, and I was looking forward to feeling the waves on my face again. Ooh, what do you mean? Yeah, you're the only one. Oh, probably. You guys are no fun. Ha <laughs> ha. Meanwhile, what's going on? My, is your hand bothering you, your majesty? What do you mean? It is nothing. I have left that far in the past. Oh, okay. Did pretty good with it during the intro. The past, the future, and all that comes between. I deny it all. Well, how about you deny yourself, dude? Now? Okay. A moment of your time, Your Majesty. Hey, how's it going? Jan has not returned. I would request permission to see to his whereabouts. Well, you're gonna have to go a long way. Your Majesty, the Blazing Wolf's not going to be happy about being treated like a pup. Oh, what do you mean? Besides, I believe we have more important matters to attend to. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Anna is right. Set a course for the Temple of Water. Uh-oh. Your Majesty, if you would at least let me... I think I'm going to have to deny that. No offense, Your Majesty. You guys are all living in denial. You return. Angelo Oscar Vincenzo Olivier Panettone, patissier non parel, at your service, or something. How many names do you need, dude? What say you let me take a crack at cleaning up those meddlesome crumbs? What do you mean? Intriguing. But why you, Angelo? You would seek revenge for Amy? Oh, you mean us, right. Revenge? <laughs> Hardly. It's a bonus. Just because that foul-mouthed tart had a thing for me, why should I give two whisks about her? Because she loved you? Useless to the end, that woman. Couldn't even hold a simple bridge. Well, her asterisk is far from useless. <laughs> Awfully talkative today, aren't we? Oh, I suppose he is. If I didn't know better, I'd say the loss of your girlfriend has really put a fly in your batter. Are we going to be doing food puns today? <laughs> Spoiler alert! We are! Very well. Do as you wish. But we will not wait long. Should you fail, do not bother reporting back. Well, if he fails, he won't be able to report back. Whatever you say, boss. Uh, your Majesty. I'll be going now, then. Goodbye! With me, ladies. Hmm? Oh. Forever and ever, Chef! Oh, that's nice. Your Majesty, surely it would be wiser to send me, your loyal lieutenant, instead of these. Oh, go take a nap, old man. <laughs> I have everything under control. Or maybe you could join your sweet little Pope for high tea. Oh, what do you mean? She was taking a... She really was taking a coffee break? Don't think I haven't noticed you sneaking sweets into her cell. It'd almost be touching if it didn't make me sick. Oh, well, I thought you were the chef around here. The gall. Ha ha. I like the banter. But, uh, okay, so we made it out alive. Ah, Agnes is back. There we go. So what do you got to know about Florum there? 
Oh, oh, okay. Kind of spaced out there, or lightheaded or something? Oh, okay. Well, you'll be leaving soon. Uh, what? Who or what is that? Uh, 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 is there a joke there that I'm not getting? What do you mean? I have no idea what that was, but that was pointless. Okay, but I do want to change my setup. That will not be pointless. Although you, I'm pretty much going to leave the same. And Adia. And Big... No, no. Uh, with Adia, let's see. Let's go with Whisker Sense. And then I'm just thinking if I want Katana Lore or Barrage. I think I'll go with Katana Lore for now. But, I mean, switch it up. On the overworld, it's not really a big deal. The enemies are no longer remotely challenging. Even if I had everyone in negative 4 BP, I would still fight another consecutive battle for the extra JP and all that. Okay, but let's get you back on the ninja garb. I don't really need to use heavy armor very much for most of the game. Now that I've gotten her using katanas, though, how about we go with a black belt? And I'll give the power bracers to Tiz, or, well, maybe I'll do something else with him. Okay, Magnolia, though, let's see. I think I'm just going to leave her alone for now. Eventually, I will want to make substantial changes to my setup with her. But for now, yeah, we'll just stick with the spirit magic setup. That'll be fine. Okay, and then with Tiz, we don't need attack item amp, but I do need precog. So we'll get that moving. And let's see, do I want a katana lore? Probably. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. But I'll probably still give him the black belt anyway. Because uh, the way that crit rate works is you start with a 9% chance. And then you get more per weapon slot. So in this case, it's 15 times 3. So that's what? Uh, 54. And then 10 more, 64. So that's pretty nice. Really nice crit rate there. And actually with Tiz, let's get you on Warfare while I get Shamanism on Idea. The setup on the overworld is not extraordinarily important. I'm not even going to list it, but I have the boss setup listed in the video description if you didn't watch the previous episode. But yeah, I want the Samadare equipped on the right hand slot there and everything else should be good. But yeah, I'm not even going to use the power braces. I want that crit rate. Once you start getting like two or three katanas going, it's better to start focusing on crit rate there so you can, well, kill enemies more easily, more likely. But, uh, all right, let's head on back to Yunohana then. See if we can find out how to get the form or something. All right, finished off the thief job, or, er, well, yeah, level eight. For Thief it is there. That'll be good enough for quite some time. For now, I want him to start working more on Charioteer to eventually learn a quad wield. It's really nice. Okay, but otherwise, I think I'm going to leave his setup pretty much the same as before. Well, a different secondary command. Let's go with Shamanism. Though eventually, I'll want to give him Miscellany as well. But otherwise, yeah, I think we're good to go. So, oh, well, we could go to the, yeah, to the bathhouse to advance the plot. But there's someone else here. Kind of hard to tell that, that they're there. Kind of blend in with the, the building there. Sitting here in the sun, eating dumplings. For a moment, you can almost forget that the world is in danger. Well, yeah, that's, uh, well, that's one way of looking at it. Huh? What's the matter, you? You look troubled. I mean, isn't the skyhold still around? It's nothing, really. Just that whenever I look away for a moment, I seem to end up with fewer dumplings. It's a real mystery, wouldn't you say, Idia? <laughs> hmm? Did you say something? Busy eating. And see, 
I turn back this way and once again, fewer dumplings. Such an enigma. Isn't it, Magnolia? <laughs> Indeed. An enigma. <laughs> Did you hear that, my dear Whitson? This uh. has all the makings of a case. What's with the creepy music? Right you are, Sholmes. Really? Sholmes? And Whitson? Not doing it! Huh? Not doing it. The owner of those dumplings reports that each time he looks away, his dumplings go missing, one after the next. Why are you commenting on this? Yes. It looks like we have a cereal dumpling napper on our hands, Sholmes. We could just buy more. Are the dumplings being abducted for monetary gain, or out of personal spite? Or is there some hidden tragedy behind it? Quite the conundrum. I think you guys are just reading too much into this. What's with those two? <laughs> Another plate of dumplings here, please? And some more of that strong brew tea, too. Oh, okay. I guess we really can take a coffee break. And the same here, please. They do seem quite the odd couple. Oh, well, I have no idea who they are. Uh, Sholmes, it's almost time for you to be going. Oh, what do you mean? I say so it is. Blast these interviews. What interviews? So who do you hope will recruit you? The hard-boiled police inspector or the sharp-witted private investigator? To be frank with you, old chum, I have not been able to decide. Um, uh, uh, one of those, uh, Wallaby Marquis, if you please. I have no idea what that is. I believe that's Wadabi Mochi, Sholmes. And I'll have the same. I still have no idea what that is. At any rate, how fortunate you are to have the choice. Really, what a family you come from. This inspector from the municipal police is related to you in some way, didn't you say? Hmm? What do you mean? Yes, good Uncle Heinkel. Now, Inspector Argent Heinkel, to be precise. Oh, he's back! <laughs> What's the matter? And that private investigator, too. Kunoichi Kikyo, the silent sleuth, as her fans describe her. She's from your mother's side of the family, is she not? They're related? What? That's what I said! Oh, drink! Drink! Why are you choking? Here you are, sir. Stay with us. <laughs> You okay, too? <clears throat> I'm sorry, but would you mind keeping it down? You're the guys who are talking up a storm. Are you kidding me? You expect me to keep my mouth shut after hearing something like that? Why? Hi, cool and Inspector. Keep you a private eye for reals? Oh, well, yeah, why not? I mean, Henkel was a knight. So I'm sure he's qualified. Well, just who are you fellows? Oh, I say, this wallaby mochi is more soupy delicious. Oh, okay. I guess it's some kind of food or something. Solms, so this is where you've been hiding. I'm afraid I'll have to postpone our interview today. Oh, well, you seem much calmer than you were in the first game. Argent Heinkel, holder of the Night Asterisk. As erstwhile captain of the Eternian Sky Knights... He was once Idia's commanding officer. And murderer. A hardened warrior, dedicated to his cause, and trusted by those who serve him. Uh, I would beg to differ on that. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? But, well, the night job class was okay, early on in the game at least. Not so much later. Inspector Heinkel, pray tell what is the matter? You look positively a flutter. There's been a homicide in Stockport. Oh! In other words, a murder! Isn't that what I just said? Yeah. Never mind. Do you want to help or not? You can't have anything else planned. Heinkel! What's going on? Murder, apparently! Idia? You heard us, didn't you? I'm busy with an investigation. Idle questions can wait. Oh, okay. I'll be going ahead, Holmes. I'll see you at the crime scene. Hmm, something just came flying. Did I hear something? 
a kunai, and ah. with a note tied to it, no less. Quickly, let us examine the evidence. It's a good knife. Asked to investigate Starkfoot murder, must delay meeting Kikyo. Oh. Aunt Kikyo. What? The, the uh, they need both of them. Konoe Kikyo, the silent Kunoichi, holder of the ninja asterisk. A much better asterisk than the first game. Idia encountered her in Heart's Child, when Kikyo served as a key member of the Black Blade's covert forces. Too shy to express her thoughts to others face to face, this woman of many masks hides great secrets within her silence. Well, I suppose she's stealthy enough to be a private investigator. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? Oh. Dear Aunt Kikyo, won't you ever speak to me directly? No. But never mind that. Come, Whitson, her case calls. Right you are, Sholmes. I would think she's not old enough to be an ant, especially to an adult. Uh, hold up. Can someone explain what is going on? Well, you understood the plot of the first game, didn't you? I mean, you were there. Argent Heinkel. Knights Captain of the Eternian Sky Knights is now a hard-boiled inspector in the Unohana PD. Why not? Gotta make a living. And Kikyo, lethal assassin of the Black Blades, is now famous as the Silent Sleuth? Well, she rose up the ranks pretty quickly, didn't she? Things certainly have changed. And what about those other two? Oh, Sholmes and Whitson? They said they were members of a sleuthing club. Oh, okay. A sleuthing club? So they're private investigators too? I guess something like that. Not quite. Apparently it was a school club, but they've kept at it since graduating. They're just playing detective. How did you learn about all this? Give me a break. Aren't they both older than me? Pretty much everyone is older than you, Tiz. Oh, but that Shums fellow comes from quite the family. His grandfather was a world-famous private detective. His father is a police commissioner, and his mother is a celebrated mystery novelist. Oh, okay. What's more, his aunts, uncles, and cousins are all involved in solving crimes one way or another. What a pedigree. What a coincidence. So, what should we do, Idia? Nothing! Huh? Why are you asking me? I mean, saving the world is right over there, but we've got a side quest to do! Well, I mean, as the Eternian representative in the party... What does that have to do with anything? Ah, I was afraid you'd mention that. Why? They said they were going to Stark for it, didn't they? Come on, guess we are too. For side quests! But, uh, oh right, so, uh, before doing that though, I would like to restock on battle items. Let's see, 20 Phoenix Downs ought to be good enough for my needs. There will be some undead enemies coming up. And I want to get up to at least 20 of each elemental item, although with... Uh, Antarctic winds, I would like to get up to 40. We're going to need quite a few of those where we're going. Let's see, those are looking good. And I also want to get up to 40 earth drums, although maybe I won't need quite that many, but I'll stick with that for now. Okay, so we've got all that. And then with Tiz, I think I'm just going to leave him alone for now, though I'm going to change things up coming up soon. Yeah, I think we're good. Although, I would like to rest up. So, let's go find a tent event to do that. And, for some reason, after completing Geyser Grotto, there's a tent event uh, back at the House by the Sea. I'm not sure how you're supposed to know that, but it's there. So, let's go check it out. It's a little closer to Hearts Child, though, so we'll take the short route to get over there. Uh, let's see. No, there's nothing I need to do at uh, Parts Child there, so let's head on over then to the east. And there's nothing at the bridge anymore either. 
All right. So let's see. After that battle, oh yeah, we got uh, yeah we got book burned quite heavily there. Holy cow! But uh, oh yeah, there was one thing I wanted to mention to you guys about the Lilith's rod here. Yeah, you can use it as an item in battle to well, essentially cast Aspear to drain MP, but without the black magic command there. So that's pretty nice. Although I don't really. Well, I don't know that I would really use it for that purpose, but you could if you wanted. But yeah, with the the Lilith's Rod, it's yeah not that extraordinarily better than what we've already got. So if you don't have it, don't worry about it. It's not that critical. Although, you might want to get it for the item completion there, but that's about it. I just spent way too much time trying to figure out how to find one of those things when I was first playing the game. But, uh, okay, so we took, yeah, quite a beating there. Why don't we, yeah, get healed up after that one. But I was at very negative BP, which is why they dealt so much damage. Not so much because they were that strong. No, no, that's nothing to worry about. But yeah, when I was uh, playing the first game and I was going through Chapter 3, I was, like, collecting some bestiary entries that I uh, missed earlier. And, uh, well, hold on. Uh, let's see. With the bestiary here, let me see. As long as I'm thinking about it. Let's see. We got Jan's bestiary entry here. A little updated, I think. I think this stuff is all the same as before. Ah, there it is. Okay, so yeah, new stuff down here. Or at least somewhat new stuff. Something like that. Okay, there we go. Temple of Fire. And all that good stuff. But, well, didn't work out too well for him, did it? And what else did we get? Oh yeah, we got those uh, scimitars there. So a couple of them, that'll do for my needs. But yeah, I wasn't even really thinking about, like, 100% uh, item completion until someone mentioned the Lilith's Rod to me. They were saying, like, it couldn't be... Or it was going to be much more difficult to acquire later in the game than it was now. And I was told you could steal it from the Lilith's, which is technically correct. The best kind of correct. Unfortunately, you can't steal it from Liliths that are, like, randomly encountered on the overworld. So, yeah, I had to uh, figure out another way to acquire it eventually. But, uh, okay, so, yeah, we got something going on at the moon base. Hey, another bomb fragment and an earth drum that'll be more relevant now. But, okay. But, yeah, for some reason, the... Faithful Companion is here still. Or, again. Or, no, I don't think he was here before. Whatever. They're here now. We can get another tenth of them. So, let's check it out. I could use the rest. Oh, Magnolia's on kitchen detail today. Hey, Magnolia. Is it ready yet? My belly's growling up a storm. We're working on it. Pardonnez-moi. All done now. Sorry it took so long. Oh, okay. Good. Well, I'm sure it'll be worth the wait. So, uh, what'd you make? I don't know that much about cooking, so I just tossed all my favorite things together. Uh, that's not exactly how cooking works. <laughs> that sounds like something Idiot would do. Oh, yeah. Please, no more talk. Food. Now! <laughs> Voila! Garlic fried rice over rice! So, isn't that just garlic fried rice? With a topping of sautéed garlic rice. But that's not all. How many kinds of rice do you need? Uh, Magnolia, what was the topping? Rice. For a side dish, I have onion fried rice. And for variety, rice pilaf. How many kinds of rice do you need? Uh, Magnolia, that sounds great, but isn't that a lot of rice? Well, it's cheap. Me, oui, my very first full course meal. I wasn't sure I could pull it off, but I did. Well, I'm happy you're happy. 
Now dig in before it gets cold. I mean, I like rice as much as the next guy. Oh, right. Yeah. I remembered you saying you liked breaded potato with rice. That was my inspiration. For what? Carbs on carbs with carbs on the side. All in perfect harmony. Well, works for me. And you, you said you like bread with your pasta, we? Oui? Oh, I guess. Well, I, I did, and I do. But rice on rice? Mmm, mmm. Mm, this is good. Have you tasted the garlic yet? What about it? Ilya, you already started. Why not? You heard the girl eat before it gets cold. Mm, mm. Look, it's the same thing as having potatoes and rice or noodles and bread. Well, it's all going to go to the same place eventually. I love this onion fried rice. Not sticky at all. And the rice pilaf is so flavorful. Now I've got a hankering for tomato rice and risotto. I bet they'd go really well with this. Sure. Exactamo! I was gonna make them too! But I ran out of frying pans. How many do we got? It's okay. It's still delicious. You know how to cook rice, that's for sure. Well, it's not that hard. I mean, heck, even I can do it. Three kinds of fried rice in one meal. Talk about originality, and the execution is amazing. Come on, Tiz, stop sitting there like a wet cabbage and dig in. You want to let Magnolia's efforts go to waste? What does that even mean, a wet cabbage? Uh, right. I guess not. Well, that was pointless. I like these pointless scenes, though. It flavor both literally and figuratively. But uh, okay, we're done here. We got everything we needed. So now let's get back to well, you know, Hana, eventually. But yeah, I remember like I'm spending hours trying to steal a uh, Lilith's rod from a Lilith, thinking it was a rare steal, and I killed tons of them too to mix up the RNG, maybe get a drop or something. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't have it so i just gave up and waited until uh what is it for another version of them in a post game dungeon where i could use prince of thieves to steal the lilith's rod and complete my inventory checklist there so now that worked out let me see how we're doing on the bestiary completion here all right all we need are some more uh b types here and i think that's the last of the enemies on the overworld around here and i think they're more commonly encountered at nighttime so how about we go into the event viewer and try to keep it nighttime that way but yeah there was like another source that said you could steal a lilith rod from that fixed encounter with the lilith at geyser grotto and during my second test run when i got up to geyser grotto again and i tried repeatedly stealing from them but uh yeah i couldn't get it uh, at that point i just figured acquiring an early lilith's rod was impossible and just settled for what i could do with the post game but uh all right well since it's nighttime, we can actually use the end so why not but yeah as you saw well in the previous episode then out of the blue it just dropped from the fixed encounter and that was it. I mean, I, I wasn't even happy about it because it, it's not really that extraordinary. And I was kind of annoyed that no one knew this critical information about it. But it certainly settles a mystery that I was, like, investigating for months and wondering about it and finally solved it by accident. That is pretty much how the Bailey curse works. Absolutely. But all right, let's head into Stark Fort. Oh, it's for sale? I didn't think anyone owned it. That was like just a, a military installation or something. Well, whatever works. Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, someone dreamt it up. Kind of looks like it's upside down, but okay. 
Oh, yeah. And then we killed all of them. A few years ago. I didn't think it was that long ago. Oh, I guess maybe the war started before that. It ended a couple of years ago. Oh, well, yeah, how do you know about that? Well, I mean, we met the guy, but I would think he wouldn't know what it, what happened here. But maybe he studied, I don't know. Yeah, that doesn't exactly sound like the best plan. Besides, what political powers? It's not like you have a government here or anything. So they decided to join in all the murdering. That's the lesson for the kids. Pot committed, I guess, huh? Oh, well, I don't know that it really began here, but okay. What do you mean? Oh, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. But uh, let's see, okay, let's take a look around outside here from here. Yeah, you can go all the way over to the right, and I totally missed that the first time I played the, well, the first game there, I didn't even look at the map at first there, and I missed out on some pretty good stuff. Let's get a couple treasures here, at least first. And who do we got here? Are you the owner? What tail? Oh, let me guess, Sitanta again. Who is this? Yeah, who is this guy anyway? Well, that's, uh, one way of looking at it. Let's see, are you... Oh, kitty! Okay, now there is something strange with this area. So, you see, over here, there's nothing around down there, right? But if you leave the area and then come back, something will be there. Or at least it should be. Let's, uh, take a look. So once you come back here... Yeah, there he is! The companion again for yet another tent event. But, uh, before I do that, let me rearrange my setup. Okay, so with you, he's gonna remain the same. With Adia, let's see, she... It's not going to remain the same. Actually, I would like to give her Barrage instead of Katana Lore, at least on the first floor when we're not encountering huge groups of enemies. But later on, I may want to get rid of Whisker Sensor Barrage for Katana Lore. For now, this will do. Okay, so you've got... Actually, I want to give her Miscellany to start. But I'll switch her to Shamanism after eventually. Let's see, same thing with Magnolia. Now, the thing with this dungeon is that magic isn't really that extraordinary here, unless you're, like, totally dedicated to it like you is. So, for Magnolia, instead, I'm going to implement my full-time battle item user setup. So, let's give her Waste Knot to save on some items. A little bit of money there. And then, okay, so I would like her to have Precog. And then, yeah, Attack Item Amp and Barrage. That ought to be good enough. Nice thing about the battle item setup is that you don't really need a whole lot of skills to deal a lot of damage. So I can fill her up with a whole bunch of party-wide skills like Precog and eventually Whisker Sense, though she's a little ways away from learning that for herself. But we'll get there. Almost there. And then I can get rid of it on Idea, who could use the slots more. Okay, so we got all that. And, okay, both of you are on miscellany with Tiz. Yeah, I also want him on miscellany to start. 
And then, what else do we got? Okay, so... Let's see. Well, I... Or wait a minute. Yeah, I don't need Precog on you anymore. So, instead, I'm actually going to give him Dagger Lore. Because there's quite a few enemies that are... Well, Beast-type enemies. And, well, that would let him exploit it better. Okay, so we get that. And I think that's good. Okay, now for the equipment there. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't use triple wield on you with the setup I've got, but it's totally worth it. Let's see, with Idea, I'm just thinking if I want to stick with this for now, or maybe change up my weapons a little bit. I mean, eventually I do want to use katanas on her anyway, but maybe at the start it would be better to... Yeah, why don't we stick with the scimitar there yeah we'll just give you all one-handed swords because some of the enemies here are demon type enemies now remember the ice brand is not water elemental you'd have to use it to do that like warhead ice head but uh no we don't need that although there is an enemy here that is weak to water but i wouldn't even bother with that for now let's stick with the power bracers though i'll switch that up eventually too with a black belt and then with tiz let's go let's equip the kunai on the head slot since i can't switch that around so i might as well put the strongest thing there next strongest is a recall dagger unfortunately we can't buy either of those right now so the next best thing is a carving knife there so, but as you can see, not a huge difference between them. As a matter of fact, though, hold on. I meant to give the power bracers to Tiz there. To help out with the daggers that don't have extraordinary attack power. And then, yeah, I'm just re rethinking this. Yeah, you know what? With the black bat, I probably should just go with what I intended to start out with here. Okay, so we get all that. Let me see. Okay, so we've got 87 attack power with the... With the Kotetsus there. Let me see if I replace this with Katana or If that's a little better. I don't think so. No. No, it is not. Okay. But eventually I will want to get Katana Lore there. I'm just thinking if maybe I could equip that on her now... I don't think so. I'll leave it alone for now. And, uh, yeah. Let's rest up. And get ready to head inside. It's Magnolia on kitchen duty, right? Again? She's taking a long time. Well, maybe she's tired of cooking for us all the time. She's putting a lot of effort into her meals these days. Oh, that should do it. Sorry for the wait, everyone. So, what do you got? I'm famished. How? We just ate five minutes ago. Okay, 15 minutes ago, but whatever. Hmm, uh, this looks simple. Well, what do you mean? A slice of apple, prawns, well, one, three slices of cucumber. It's not really much of a meal. Grated lettuce, a tiny crepe with a teaspoon of jam. Can you really call that cooking? Plus a mini roll in consomme. It's like breakfast at the bathhouse. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Hotel Breakfast a la Moon. With recipes courtesy of Sakura. Oh, yeah. I think that was the, the lady who was running the... Well, running that place. Uh, Breakfast? Oh, I get it. A breakfast buffet. <laughs> That's the joke. So this is what Sakura has been teaching you? That's right. I've oh. been dying to show you what I learned, and I finally got my chance. So I experimented on you guys. <laughs> so what's the a la moon bit this time? Well, she's from the moon. The cucumber and the crepe. Oh, or that. Oh, really? It just looks like a simple cucumber and crepe to me. Sakura told me one of her secrets. When guests stay at the bathhouse, they usually go out for lunch and have big banquets in the evening. Oh, okay. Breakfast is... is their one chance to eat a simple, healthy meal. You have to look after their stomachs. Oh. Okay, I 
I guess. That's what makes her such a great hostess. Anyway, I was so impressed that I tried to do exactly what she said. But even more so, that's the a la moon bit. Oh, okay. I made the crepes super light and sliced the cucumber even thinner than normal. Voila! Wow, it's true. I can see your face right through it. <laughs> I, I, I kind of wonder if he was, like, intentionally trying to uh, make fun of her with that delivery. That is impressive, except... Oh, uh, that's one adjective to describe it. Oh, Magnolia, you got it completely wrong. This is not what Sakura meant. Oh, what do you mean, then? Why, idiot! When she said you have to look after guests' stomachs, she didn't mean starve them! <laughs> she meant pay attention to what they need. What do you think we've been doing all day? Murdering? Traipsing around a cursed castle, that's what! Doing some serious adventuring! Oh, well we're about to do that. Maybe they only meant for you to get this uh, tent event after going through the place. Oh, do you think that's what we want after a hard day's work? To sit around nibbling see-through cucumber slices? Okay, okay. Oh, when you put it that way. Well, I like it. It's just what I wanted. Good for you? I mean, Idia, that deep-fried pork medley you made for lunch was pretty filling. Not to mention the liver and steak challenge plate we had for breakfast. Oh, you have steak for breakfast? I would have bacon or something. Yeah, but come on. You're a man, aren't you? What does that have to do with anything? Only a rabbit could survive on stuff as thin and flavorless as this. Oh. But you've already had seconds of everything. That's the idea. And I suppose you'll be wanting thirds? Thirds, fourths, fifths, whatever it takes to get full. <laughs> <sighs> this consomme really hits the spot. Well, I suppose, you know, living in a simple village of Narende, you want to have uh, simple meals, I guess. Like me. But, uh, all right, so we got everything set up and ready to go there. Let's head on in to Starkford and see about that murder mystery. Okay, so, yeah, let's take a, well, let's get some treasures around here first. In the lower left and lower right corners around here. Hey, another bomb fragment that I probably won't use in this dungeon, but that's okay. And we've got some new enemies here. Let's see. Magicians. They are demons that are weak to Earth. So let's see what I want to do with these guys. Hmm. I'm not sure that I could kill them with just one character. That's the problem. Because, like, they have pretty high magic defense. So normally what I would do is use, like, Earth drums to work around that magic defense. But, uh, what is it? I would need four of them to get the job done. Three won't do it. Maybe I could do it if I got some good crits with my katanas there. They're not weak to water, though, so I don't need the Samadari for this fight. Might as well get a little upgrade going there. Maybe I could use Wonton Destruction and try to do that. I could use, uh... Yeah, examine, wanton destruction, and another, or a trample, and maybe that might work. Although, if I'm going to do that, why don't we equip our scimitar, since they're demon-type enemies, and see how that works. Oh, wait, I, hold on, what is with my, oh yeah, I don't have uh, Katana Lord yet, so I wouldn't really get good... Uh, what is it? Good dam or that much more damage out of wanton destruction than I would like. Hmm. Maybe I could have you maybe follow that up. Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's go with examine, wanton destruction, and trample. Oh, but uh, you, 
I want him to follow up with some earth magic. Yeah, because he's the only one who's really going to be slower than Idea, even. So, let's see. Maybe go double soil. No, not blast. Uh, needle. Actually, you know what? He might be able to do that by himself. Yeah, you know what? Hold on. Let's, uh... Let me back up here. Normally, I wouldn't want to do this. I wasn't even thinking about using a magnifying glass. Hmm, maybe I should have bought some more of them. Well, we'll be fine. There's not that many new enemies around here. So let's go double soil needle. That might be enough to kill these guys. But I'm concerned about setting up a subsequent battle. So I'm just thinking... Who's the next slowest one, Idea or Tiz? But even then, they'll probably act before you does. So I'm just thinking if there's another way I could follow up with something. Or guarantee that, that is. Hold on, let me get back up here. Okay, so... I might need another soil spell to kill these guys. Okay, so how about we do this? Let's have... Let's have Tiz maybe use uh, an Earth Drum on them. No, you know what? This is this is all getting pretty complicated here. I'll just go with this if it works great. If it doesn't, oh well. But, uh, well, we might be able to deal enough damage. Yeah, we got him! Woohoo! All the planning was worth it. Oh, and now we got more of them. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so now we can just go forward with the usual uh, Earth Drums. Since I don't need to examine them this time around. Now we got Barrage. And you need Barrage in order for four Earth Drums to be able to kill them. Otherwise, you only deal 4,500 damage to them. And some of those guys have, well, more than that HP, so Barrage will help uh, top it off there. But, uh, okay, we've got another new enemy, Demon! Let's see, with these guys, oh, by the way, with the Magicians, they can curse you, but nothing special. Uh, this guy, though, can inflict Doom on your party. Not that a battle will last long enough for that to matter, but it could be annoying. Okay, so... Oh, we're, yeah, we're already on the scimitars for this guy. I should be able to kill him with a few tramples there. See how that goes. They do have quite a bit of HP, weak to light. Uh-oh. Uh, I mean, good, good. I knew that would work. So far, so good. And we've got yet another new enemy. And perfectly suited for Tiz to kill the Minotaur Zombie. They are not only undead, so I could use Phoenix Downs on them sometimes, but they're also beast-type enemies. So knives are going to be really useful against them. So I'm going to use that instead of the... Or I'm going to attack with knives instead of using the Phoenix Downs, but you could go either way. Unfortunately, the Brave Attack is wasted. I am not going to be fighting another consecutive battle if... Or... Well, I wasn't going to fight another consecutive battle, but then I got that crit. And minus one BP, I think we can handle that. Minus two, I think that's pushing it a bit. Oh, they can stop you too. Well, that's a bummer. But, uh, okay, so what do we got? Well, at least we survived. But uh, now what? Hmm. I think I'll just go all out. Though, they're not beast-type enemies, even though they got, like, an owl head thing going on there. But, that's okay. Um, yeah, I'll just use what I've got. And if it works, great. If it doesn't, well, whatever. I'll have Idea ready to follow up there. And eh, no crits this time. Oh, well. Yeah, we'll just do the brain dead quadruple trample. There we go. Well, I maxed out the chain of battles more than I thought I would. Can't complain about that. How are you doing on learning quad wield anyway? Well, we're getting there. We should probably have it by the end of the dungeon. It is really, really good. I would dare say even better than uh, dual wield. 
I kind of wish there was a thing with uh, quad wield and triple wield because I mean, there's nothing special about it. I mean, it just it's triple wield, but with your body armor or torso slot available there to equip a weapon, that's it. But I kind of wish there was like some sort of special interaction if you equipped that and triple wield at the same time or maybe even like a, a bug or something that would freak th freak out the game or something there but uh no no we don't uh yeah it, it works as as intended but uh let's see with idea okay yeah now let's get back on shamanism for her i'm thinking if i want to do that with tiz yet because the other thing is that uh, he's got Mimic with Miss Lanny as well. And I still got another enemy that I want to examine. So, yeah, why don't we just uh, do that? Oh, that was another thing that I could have done against those magicians. I totally forgot about it. But uh, I could use maybe an Earth Ballot and then Mimic that. So that way I don't have to spend the money on those things. But I don't have attack item amp or waste not equipped, so I couldn't do that right now, but eventually I could. But, uh, okay, so we got all that going here. Yeah, let's get up to the second floor of this place then. Okay, so, yeah, they did a little redecorating around the place, but nothing too extraordinary. This is still a dead end with a treasure. Hmm, a little extra money. But, uh, yeah, that's all we can do around here. So, why don't we back out? And I get the feeling I'm about to fight another random battle. So, let me see what I can find here. Yep. Okay, well, let's see what we can do. Okay, so... I have the knives on Tiz, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, why don't you just, uh, take this guy out, carve him up, whatever you want to do. Man, even without the crits, he deals a ton of damage with the knives. Okay, let's see, with these guys. So, yeah, if I used a double soil needle and then another soil, I could pretty much guarantee Tiz being able to kill these guys, or not Tiz, you! Being able to kill these guys. Sorry, I get my main characters mixed up. But yeah, so you could do that. Soil, soil, needle, and then another soil would guarantee it. Although, I did kind of get lucky in that first battle with them, with you being able to kill them. If I got one of the higher HP versions, that could have been bad. But here we've got another new enemy, Hellhounds. These guys are weak to water. And they'll be easy enough to take out. So let's go, yeah, magnifying glass. Uh, if I can use my spells, that would make this a lot faster. Double frost needle, that'll definitely be enough to take them out. And I think that's the last of the new enemies around here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, one more consecutive battle. Or we could get a brave attack, and I could fight another one after this. Why not? Okay, so what I'm going to do this time... Let's see. Well, I'm still on the sword, so I might as well use them. Okay, then let's go soil head to make my attack. Uh, Earth elemental. I'm just thinking if I want to use wanton, destruct er, wanton destruction there. Yeah, why don't we do that? And then a couple tramples, if I need it. Wanton Destruction might be able to kill them on its own, but... Well, let's see how well that works. Yeah, look at that damage! <laughs> I love Wanton Destruction. Just wait till Tiz gets that, and then he can use that with Mimic. Holy cow. Just annihilate these guys. Although now... Yeah, we got debuff. Would square one actually remove that? Let's see, raise lower stats. Yeah, I think that would work here. Although, I don't think it would be worth it. But in any case, okay, so we've got 
Now, I don't want to use uh, Earth Mallet and without a tank item amp, Earth Drum wouldn't really be that great here. So, I think I'll just pretty much do the same thing as before, but why not use Square One here? Maybe I can, uh, not get lucky with a crit or something, who knows? Yeah, it worked! I, like, almost never used that thing, though. Yeah, we got the crit! Not that I really needed it. I mean, it's not like these guys are gonna damage me or something, but it worked! But, uh, okay, yeah, let's get out of here then. And, let's see. Okay, how close are you to getting uh, Whisker Sense? Not extraordinarily close, but we'll get there. Okay, so with Adia, let's see. I want to get her on to Katana Lore now. And then pretty much the same weapons that I was using before. But remember, the uh, Hellhounds are weak to water, so the Samadare will be useful there at least. Okay, and then you've got your Power Bracers. You've already got your Dagger Lore. You're all stacked and ready to go. Maybe I'll reconsider using Attack Item Amp on him, but I think I like the Dagger Lore for dealing with the uh, beasts around here, which could also be useful against those Hellhounds there, too. But what exactly is going on at Stark Ford, anyway? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. This is Ichi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!